Hi, this is Trevor Sheridan from AppAdvice.com, and today we're looking at Safari performance in iPad 2 and compared to iPad 1. The best way to start is with nine tab browsing and being able to switch between every single tab without the page reloading like is the case on the iPad 1. As you can see, running through all nine tabs here on the iPad 2, none of the pages have to reload, and you can also load pages in the background as you view other pages, which is quite extraordinary. It really is, especially after using a year of the iPad 1 Safari and being frustrated every single time the pages have to load or make that reload and you can see how smooth it is to switch between all nine tabs and never having to see a reload once now here's the iPad 1 and you can already see the first page we go to has to reload I mean come on iPad 1 really Apple messed up by not including more RAM on board from our testing we've seen that the iPad 1 with 4.3, Safari performance has been improved, so it can catch about five tabs currently. But when you're using all nine tabs, there are quite a number of pages that have to reload when you go back to them. The most recent ones are similar to the iPad 2 performance, but once you get to the older pages, they're going to have to reload, which was never the case in the iPad 2. The iPad 1 browsing experience isn't bad, it's just not as good as the iPad 2. And now, the computer browsing habits of going from tab to tab and having pages low in the background is finally available thanks to the iPad 2 and the new onboard memory. But also with 4.3 the engine is faster so we can actually compare head to head how fast Safari loads the new pages. Now the difference isn't monumental. You can tell that Safari on iPad 1 is a lot faster than it was before. Too bad we don't have two iPad 1's to test it on. But when you actually use an iPad 2 compared to the iPad 1 it's a second at most, but the difference is quite monumental in long-term everyday use. You don't notice just from a simple speed test. I mean, it's just like that much of a difference, but really, when you go using about it day in, day out, you can't imagine using a slower version of the Internet on your iPad. It's great because you don't have to sit there waiting for pages to load anymore, especially when you're able to load pages in the background. I mean, the pages load faster themselves compared to the iPad 1, and you can load them in the background. So combined, it really makes a faster viewing experience when you combine our first test with our second test. And it's just everyday use will be so much better than the iPad 2. It's another reason to upgrade if you're on the fence. The onboard RAM and the new JavaScript engine are really what the iPad 1 should have been launched with. But it's great that the iPad 2 finally gets it and it makes internet viewing on the go that much better. Now Safari actually has dedicated improvements built in to the engine that Apple provided but just the entire speed of the iPad 2 also helps any internet connected app with no optimizations or improvements for the iPad 2. Anything that connects to the internet loads faster because the entire device has better processor, more memory, all that and you can check out our other videos to see specific apps put to the test.